what you saw in terms of daily life for Ga in Gaza. It's terrible. It's 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 um, and I've traveled all over the world. It is amongst one of the worst things I've ever seen. I've had people, you know, it's referred to as the world's largest open air prison. And I've had a number of people on Twitter saying that's hyperbole. I mean, I, it's hyperbole insofar as you can move all around Gaza on your own, but you can't go anywhere. You can't fly anywhere. You can't go anywhere by boat. You cannot leave your country. If you have cancer, you have to apply for treatment because the medical equipment for radiation equipment for cancer is deemed to have a dual purpose and it could be used for weapons so Israelis don't allow it in. So you have to apply to the Israelis to leave. So in fact, when I was leaving Gaza, it's a very interesting situation. Because Hamas and Israel are sort of in a state of war, they can't even share a border crossing. So when you leave Israel, you, you, you fully leave, you go through this super high security, and they pretty much put you on the other side of a, a locked door and a, a wall. And now you're in this no man's land. And then you go about, uh, you know, 500 feet or something, and you meet the, with the Palestinians, the Palestinian Authority, not Hamas. And then you go through their security, and then you go another distance, and then you get in, you, you meet the Hamas people. The, the, wow. the Gaza people, and you go in there. So there's three security points that you go through. And I was with a woman when I was leaving who was in an ambulance trying to get cancer care, and she had to change ambulances. Even the same ambulance can't go from Hamas, from Gaza to the no man's land to into Israel. So it took her an hour and a half just to cross the border in an ambulance. So that's the kind, that just, life is terrible. They, they run out of electricity all the time because it's, uh, they use gas, fuel, uh, fuel pumps to, to generate electricity. Um, they, they can't import anything. They can't export anything. They can't travel. Uh, they can hardly fish. Right now they can't fish. And, and fishing, it's on the Mediterranean. Fishing was actually a major thing for, uh, for people in Gaza. So it's a terrible place. And what, what Israelis will tell you is that we handed it over to them. Uh, when we had it, it was fantastic. They could have turned it into the Singapore of the Middle East. Um, Singapore has airports and seaports, and people who live there can move with freedom and they can import and export anything they want. That's the distinction. Palestinians in, in Gaza do not have political control. They do not have economic control. It's basically a refugee camp slash prison.